Kalbunga dudes and dudettes, I am Sensei Mungri, and I'd like to welcome you back to more TMNT Legends! In this episode, we're going to take a look at original Donatello. So here's a 360 view. Real nice. And let's go ahead and take a look at his stats here. He is a support, and his class is swift. Cool-headed and decisive. It was Donatello who delivered the final blow that defeated Shredder in issue number one. Tech oriented, he is frequently depicted tinkering and repairing broken objects. In issue number two, he uses his computer skills to aid April O'Neil in stopping Baxter Stockman's Mausers. Nice. All right, let's take a look at his abilities. His first one, or his basic attack, is forward motion. Donatello strikes a foe with his fast spinning bow staff. If HP is above 50%, 10% chance for defense to be raised by 50% for one turn. Otherwise, 10% chance for defense to, to be lowered by 50% for one turn. Okay. His second ability is Cutting Corners. Donatello snaps the corner of his frame and whips it at a foe like a boomerang. 25% chance to reduce the focus meter of a foe by 100%. Nice. Next, he has Smear Campaign. Donatello, covered in spilled ink, is cleaned up by the artist. Dispel any negative effects from allies. 25% chance to heal allies by 20% of their max HP. I like that ability because it breaks the fourth wall and I think that's very cool. His other abilities are built to last and out of bounds. We will go over those when we get them. All right, let's press on Donatello here. That's what he does. And let's level him up to about a level 10. That's a cool animation. Alright, I will see you in battle with Donatello. Here's Donny. Walking down the street. I love how his bow staff wobbles back and forth. I think that's super funny. Alright, let's use cutting corners first. That's cool. Seems to be pretty strong, too. I like the animation. Alright, let's use... Smear Campaign. That's my favorite one of his. That's for sure. His other ones are really cool, too. Also, I do want to mention, if you guys haven't seen their other ones, you should check out my videos on the gauntlet because I fight them in the gauntlet and they all use their other abilities as well if you're curious about what they do. Definitely check that out. I just don't have them unlocked yet. Alright, so his basic attack is pretty cool. I like it. We got some more Krang here. We're gonna use the cutting corners here. I was wondering what that guy was doing. Taking forever to do what he was doing. What's this guy doing? Okay, healing him for a little bit. It won't matter. We got turtle power. Oh, we got attack down. Alright, we're gonna use cutting corners. These guys are a little bit better, but I do have the attack down as well. At least they can't hurt me. Let's go ahead and use this. This should dispel us, hopefully. Nice. Perfect. No more attack down. That's very useful. Alright, time to finish off the Krang. Nice. I do want to show you guys his death animation. Maybe we'll just do that at the end. Oh, I think it'll take too long. Because these guys don't take off much damage. All right, final wave, and we got a whole bunch of Krang. If they only had a brain. Wait a second. They do. I was thinking about the Scarecrow. My bad. All right, so hopefully these guys hurry along here. Let's go fast motion, because it's kind of taken forever. The Krang are pretty slow. You can tell how they talk. The Krang are pretty slow. We do not like the ones called the Turtles. 
I always thought that was funny they talk like that. Even though my personal favorite Krang is the original. He was great. Alright, we're gonna use cutting corners here. And one more hit, and he is done. All right, I'm gonna show you Donatello's death animation. So, one second. All right, guys, we are going against Master Splinter for the death animation. And there we go. <laughs> I'll put it in slow motion for you guys. Real nice. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and next time we got Michelangelo. See you guys then.